discuss why Liverpool in the first half against West Brom seemed so utterly dominant. So as we'll see here, West Brom comes out in a literal 5-5 shape. And what Liverpool does to look to counteract that 5-5 is in the three central zones, they set up with a 1-2-1-2, one, two, one, two, looking to attack these key gaps between the five. With this 5-5, five, five, you clearly are cutting off the central areas as well as allowing yourself to not get caught into a 1v1 situation in the wide areas. Now, this allowed the center backs and the midfielders, so specifically Henderson, Matip, and Fabinho, to have time and space on the ball consistently. In the first half alone, Henderson had more passes than the entirety of West Brom's team put together. Although it showed clear dominance with the ball and in possession, the goal that happened with Mane was not so much because they broke down the shape, but it was because of the poor decision by the center back for West Brom. As the ball was in the wide area and the ball gets whipped in from Henderson, this ball comes in from the right side of Mane and the center back looks to nick it early on this side. Well, if he was focused and engaged for that entire time, he comes on this side, he can defend that ball much more easily because he has help on the outside. But because of this lapse in judgment, they score their goal. So although they were utterly dominant in the first half, retaining possession and switching through the play, they did not create the chances. West Brom didn't have any outlet. So when the ball got booted away, all it was going to do was be giving the ball back to Liverpool. Now, as we move into the second half, no changes in the lineup for Liverpool. One change that we will notice for West Brom is that they decide to leave a player high. It allows them to have an option out when they need to clear the ball, but also at the same time, it forces them to have more work rate than what they had in the first half to defend. The first thing that we'll notice is that whenever Henderson would have the ball in the three central areas, there'd be a high press from this center forward and from a midfielder stepping out to press him. But now if he would drop into this area here, there would not be a high press here and they would allow him to have the ball. Now for Liverpool in possession, I'm starting to like how they will continue to look to execute on an overload to isolate action. What they've done traditionally is the ball goes into the midfielder, goes into the other midfielder and he plays it out. But what West Brom saw was that as this ball was going here, we would notice that the fifth of their midfielder on the opposite side would actually cheat. He wouldn't drop it and cover this Mane gap. He would be up at an angle. So it would force them to play this ball over the top. And by that time, they could shift and defend. Whereas if this ball would get been here and then that ball goes, actually it would have been much harder because that's one less pass. Here is why, in my opinion, yes, this is a good overload to isolate, but I think they're having the positions wrong with who are they trying to isolate on the opposite side. In my opinion, that we've seen in previous matches, especially against Tottenham, when you had Mane out wide, you pushed Jones a little bit higher and you had Robertson deeper. Yes, in the Tottenham match it was because he had to deal with Son on the counterattack. But when you have Mane out here, this forces the West Brom defenders to step out more because they have to respect that 1v1 and then they're going to break their shape. But when you leave Mane to the inside, Jones here and Robertson out here, as great as Robertson is at putting, at putting balls in and creating chances, all they're going to say is, all right, I'll let you have the ball and I'll defend this area. It would have been interesting to see if Klopp would have told Mane to go wider tuck in Robertson here, and then you can create this 1v1 and see what the West Brom shape would have done to step out and defend that. Because even if they do step out, then that's going to allow him to come over, and then that's where you can create a 2v1, and their shape is already broken, and those balls coming in make a big difference. With Liverpool, when you're gonna go overload to an isolate, you need to make sure that the man that you're isolating is a 1v1 player and his ability to drive into the box. So for me, those are the key reasons as to why Liverpool went 1-1 against a West.